Welcome to Blind Cafe's Naked DJ's Podcast, where every day we expose ourselves to the very best music. Some days we like to shake it up, some days we let it all hang out, and others we just like to stick it out there for you to listen to. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Naked DJ's Podcast, brought to you by the DJs of Blind Cafe Radio. Today, we got a couple of interesting articles. The first one we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about streaming royalties because there are some huge names, about 150 people who want more streaming royalties from streaming platforms such as Spotify and Apple and they have even written a letter in England to Boris Johnson wanting these laws to change and wanting to change the hole that the record companies have on the industry. Now, when I say huge names, I mean Paul McCartney is even involved in this. So today we have Lightning Blind Mike, DJ Terminator himself, Dr. Johnny Love, and me, DJ Curveball. So we're going to go around and see what everybody thinks about the streaming. Streaming is real big now. So, start it off with Dr. Johnny Love. What do you think about these people even going as far as writing a letter to their prime minister, Boris Johnson? Well, I, gotta, I, I looked at it, I read it, and I'm like going... Okay, they're not getting as they're getting screwed out of money. Basically, is what I got took from it, and yeah, granted they should be getting more. And as for them writing a letter to Boris Johnson, I don't know what Boris can do, but hey, you know, y'all gotta you gotta try somewheres. And I do agree with the uh, with the people that wrote the letter. You know, hey, put the put it put the copyright thing back in and where it belongs into the writer's hands, you know, the musicians making the music. I'm all for it myself. All right, MJ, what do you think about the streaming royalties? Do you think they're within their rights to do so? And do you think Boris Johnson can or should do something to help them? I do. I, you know, as the artists say, bring the music back to the artists. I mean, they're the ones that produce it. They're the ones that puts it all together and they do deserve to receive more royalties than through the streaming than what they are getting. And I'm trying to remember back, I think it was 1988 or 1985, there was some kind of music act or something. I'm trying to remember back on memory here, but yes, Boris Johnson should get involved with this. And also, well, I can wait till we get to a little different part of the section here, but yes, I would say Boris Johnson should get involved and I think he will get involved. You know, getting 150 names, top names, to sign a, part, a petition is could be a pretty big deal here. That's true. I mean, it's it's to get all those signatures. I mean, Robert Plant, Sir Paul McCartney, Annie Lennox, some of the other names I didn't really know who they were. Who's this one person? Skin S K I N. That one I don't know, but I saw Radiohead and all. I'm like, oh, I haven't seen them in a long time. Yeah, I did notice that too. I thought, oh, Radiohead's on that one. Uh Uh-oh. So I do have a question since uh, we're talking about this a little bit. If Boris Johnson gets involved and they do decide to make the change to put more towards the than the streaming companies, then I could actually see music changing in a different direction. I know we've talked about streaming and all that in the past, so I don't want to get into all that again. But I see that music could be changing back to the radio stations again for the fact that if streaming companies don't make that kind of money they're hoping to make because you know they have a lot of money invested into you know holding millions of songs in their database and everything but if they can't play those millions of songs the the way they like to or people can download and listen to them at any time and especially with not not iheart but i for pandora and the other one i can't even you have to buy a subscription to listen to that music. So they're actually double dipping on this. I think they're making money off of the music and the, and the, and the, uh, uh, the subscription that people are signing up to. 
also, like I said, I think it's going to go back to the radio station for the most part. And that could be a really good thing for us radio people because, uh, we, you know, we are paying the appropriate royalties that, that we're supposed to be paying and it, it really might help out the, the normal radio station again. That's a good possibility right there. I like that. I think that music e- executives have dulled profits over the decades and the the instrument the you know the the musicians and the songwriters have been shortchanged quite a bit especially on the international scope here in the US things are definitely improving as far as royalties and 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 uh, f- folks being held accountable to to give credit where credit is due international music copyright is is uh, still playing catch up so uh, it's it's good to see these big names approaching their government to to implement change for the better on their behalf well not only that a lot of things are going streaming so you know these streaming platforms are making a killing so why not give the artists a bigger share and I know MJ you said that you wanted Boris Johnson to get involved if he could if this was in the US you know a lot of people complain about letting the government regulator get involved in their lives is this was the US would you want President Biden or President Trump when he was president to get involved if, if that happened here I think if the uh if the circumstances were right, as in these corporations, but see, then we're going to get into politics and all that because we're going to talk about corporations and things like that. Here in the United States, corporations basically rule the United States and the politics of that could be completely different. But I, you know, as what Tom said, you know, internationally, those singers aren't really part of the United States as in living here. Well, some are, you know, for that, for that matter, but they are singers for the most part. They're from out of state. So or out of the country. So yeah, I think that Boris Johnson should get involved to help out his own people, his own, his own artists. But as for here in the United States, like I said, that's just a whole different ball game when it comes to politics and corporations out here. I kind of like in the, the music industry, I kind of liken it like the money, okay, because everyone's got a, their finger in the pie, and everyone's getting a little taste of everything. Yeah, the music just needs to go back to the artists, back to the managers, you know, back the way it used to be. You know, they need to get more control over their own songs. I mean, Curtis, I mean, yes, you you wrote some, you've got some songs out there as well. And they started streaming them like crazy. Yeah, I know you'd probably be very happy if they did. And, and, you know, you're making a couple million dollars a year. But for the artists that have been doing it for, you know, 20 years plus, and they're only still making a couple million dollars a year just off of a song instead of, you know, $18 million a year, you know, that's just a, and I don't see them being greedy or anything like that, but, you know, give them their due. They spent the time to do it. They spent the time to go out on concerts. They, traveled the world to entertain fans. I mean, they did all the work. So yes, I think they should, you know, get their piece of the pie instead of these uh, streaming corporations. Actually, some of my songs are on Apple Music. Somebody put them up there. So it is, and I'm not getting anything, and neither is the rest of the group. (laughs) <laughs> you need to talk to Apple and say, wait a minute, why aren't I getting anything if you guys are playing them? And, but yes, you should advertise your music right here, Curtis, as in check you out on uh, Apple for your songs. Yeah, no, nah, I don't want to do that because it was poorly mixed. They, they just threw them up there. They didn't mix and master. So okay. they're good songs, but I'm kind of embarrassed. So not going to do that. <laughs> That was like the past that he just wants to keep uh, keep in the past. Well, anybody got anything else? I think we all agree that the uh, the artists should get more 
royalties off the streaming since these streaming platforms are making a killing. Listeners, what do you think? Do you feel the same way? Because, you know, you can download anything you want off Apple for about $9 a month at minimum. Not just that, but they also can subscribe to Pandora and Spotify, too. And I know there's got to be a few other ones out there that, you know, you can you can uh, subscribe to. And everyone's making a killing. Oh, yeah, iTunes, but, all of them. But the, singers but the thing should... about... The thing about Pandora is when you subscribe, as far as I know, you're just you're just paying to get rid of the ads. You're not, but to get rid of the ads, they charge for that. You can get on Spotify for free too, I think. That's correct. So basically they're charging to get rid of the ads. So, and if they don't, if, if you pay to get rid of those ads there, so they're not really making any money off the music they still have to pay uh, it sounds like to me they have to pay a royalty or a certain amount of money to each artist that they're playing or people listen to that's a lot of money that goes out but wow they're you know they would have to definitely uh give a little bit more to the artist i think i mean i mean they're 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 multi-million dollar businesses using the artists songs to become those multi-million dollar we i mean you know our radio station we're trying to make a lot of money off of it as well, but you know, we're doing it the right way. We're paying our fair share of royalties and everything. So, uh, you know, I think they should too. I agree. I mean, everyone should be paying, you know, paying their fair share, but let's face it. I mean, Pandora, Spotify, I was it iTunes. I think they're paying, Probably two to three cents on the dollar. Probably this is this, this is just a uh, guess on the dollar. On the dollar to the, to, the to the singer. It's about five cents, actually. Raise it for inflation. Yep, that's what happens when you when you deal with these record labels or you deal with these big corporations and people like that. You get smaller increments of what you're doing for your work. Everybody's got a handout. Any more comments on this topic? All right, ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to the Naked DJs podcast. We're going to take a quick break and hear from the comic collection, and we'll be right back. Do you love collecting comic books? How about action figures? Are you looking for that special gift for someone? Then the Comic Collection is the place for you. They have Pokemon, vinyls from days gone by, collectible CDs, and so much more. If you have questions about the Comic Collection, call Dave at 215-357-3332. That's 215 215- Three five seven three 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 two, or visit them on the web at www.thecomiccollection.net, where you can enjoy prices lower than you will find at the mall. That's www.thecomiccollection.net. Welcome back to the Naked DJs podcast, brought to you by the. DJs of Blind Cafe Radio, we just got done talking about royalty for artists. Now we're going to switch over and talk about the 2021 Brit Awards, usually held in February, but it's going to take place in May. It's going to be about 4,000 people, 2,500 essential workers in Britain, and the rest of the tickets I think like 1500 are going to be for the record label, the artists, friends and family and teams and stuff like that. And here's the deal with this. There's live indoor music event coming out of the pandemic. And there will be no social distancing, no face coverings will need to be worn during this event. It doesn't say anything about people 
having to be vaccinated or need to be vaccinated or they're going to be tested or anything like that. So what do you guys think about it? It is considered exciting, but it's also an experiment. So how do you guys feel about the no social distancing, no mass? Let's start it off with Tom. Well, th there is a catch. They they will have to undergo field studies and tests and research based on their lack of social distancing and no masks and so forth. They want to determine the, the purpose of, of this event and this experiment is to determine the effects, lack of social distancing, uh, based on, you know, rather not you have been vaccinated. They, they will be checking that out. They will be checking folks out to see if they are vaccinated. That, that's the impression I got from the article. And they're going to, to research what the lack of social distancing, how it plays out in the post-COVID era that we're moving into. So how do you feel about it? Are you for the research or do you feel like it's a, because a lot of people are going to say that it's a bad choice and they're going to down them for it. And if anybody does have COVID, they're going to try to blame that. Oh, it's because of the Brit Awards. Well, and that, and that was my thought as well. I think it's a great idea that they're going to open it up and, and give it a shot and try it. I think that's the best idea, but they are also opening themselves up to if they fail, then everybody's going to be looking at them as in, you know, they tested it, they tried it, they failed, everybody got COVID, and then everybody's going to be hiding indoors again and, and you know, and, and running scared. But yeah, keep in mind, this is all post-vaccination. This is all based on it's all it's all based on on post covid and the fact that we're coming out of that the only the only way that you're going to experience a downside is based on the fact that only um, i think it's what 20, uh, here in the US anyway 27% of the country have vaccination so that leaves a uh, 70 plus percent uh almost 80 percent that that have not been completely vaccinated or moved aggressive offensive treatment uh, against the, the covid yeah no i agree that you know but there i mean people have to show up show that they're negative to get into the door and so on they have to do all that they also have to do testing afterwards but they could be setting themselves up for a big fall if this doesn't work to their advantage because right now if i remember correctly didn't we do a show back when they were talking about how the uk was actually talking about getting rid of nightlife and all that together at one point and if this fails that could really happen and really destroy destroy them well we're gonna go over to dr johnny love but before i do i just want to say they definitely could be set up the failure but people who want to keep pushing this along could also make it as if because I know Pfizer's already talking about the third shot. They're preparing that for like October. So that that might be another thing they want to see. Okay. Are they going to be f fully protected? And for how long people who go into this event? Dr. Johnny Love, what do you think about it? Well, I mean, I'll start off saying, hey, I've got I got my shots. I got the funky cold Moderna shots. I still, I'd be kind of hesitant, really, guys. I mean, tell you the truth, because like, like MJ said, I mean, they could be opening themselves up if, if it fails. I mean, I, I myself look at it like this. I'm going to wear a mask even after they say it's, so, you know, okay until I feel it's okay for me not to wear a mask. And social distance, hey, I'd, I'd, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I mean, if, if Britain wants to do this, go for it. 
if it works, excellent. But if it fails, it, like uh, like Michael and uh, Tom said, it could set everything back, and that would not be good. I mean, everybody wants this thing to end, you know. But uh, how do you do that? I mean, do you try this out? I mean, what 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 do you think, Curtis? I mean, what would what would you do? I feel like this, you're not gonna go no sooner or no later than God wants you to. At some point, you, you got to live your life and get out there. You can't just say forever, well, we're not gonna do anything. What if this fails? I mean, we could be saying it's forever. And it's not like they're filling the arena to capacity. It's only one fifth of the, I think it's the O2 arena in London. And so it's not like it's full. But I mean, at some point, you got to try to move forward. That I agree with because, I mean, you have to move forward. I agree with this whole idea that they are holding these awards. I think it's great. I'm going to follow it on, I believe that they are doing this award on May 13th. Uh, so it's coming up here very shortly. And I will be watching it, the event, because A, one of my favorite singers is going to be there, and that's Dua Lipa. And, and B just anxious to see how people are going to react while they're all sitting around each other without masks percent. I just, I just feel bad for them. If it fails, then the whole world's going to fail on this one because they're going to look at them and say it didn't work. And now let's all go hide back in our homes again. That's the only thing I'm afraid of, but I am for it for them to give it a shot and try it. I really am. I think what's going to happen is that it is if a couple of people get it, the media is going to overblow it and, and make it like MJ just said. Yeah, I agree with that. The media is going to overblow it, and they got a singer named Chalupa. Is that what you said? And Curtis, I, I heard you were you were you got an invitation to it, man. Is that true? I wish I did, cause I would like to go see Dua Lipa also. <laughs> You're not the only one. If, if I, I remember, I saw a story on it. I think we actually even talked about it. Somebody was standing in line for a half hour, forty five minutes to get an autograph or see Dua Lipa come out of somewhere or whatever. I think that's who it was. And they actually uh, started running towards her and, and, you know, it was a crazed fan. They had to get security and all that. But yes, I would really love to meet Dua Lipa in person. I don't know. I've never listened to her stuff. I may have to check it out. Isn't, isn't, is it her or is it Ava Max that's dating one of the uh, Miami football team players Curtis not sure I really don't keep up with their dating life if I'm if it's not me then I like, don't hey. either I just saw it so I thought maybe you heard about it too yeah that that should be Tom's job Tom should be keeping up with who's dating who I tell you what I do want to keep up with is listeners what do you think about this Brit Award idea good idea bad idea why Drop it in the comments for us. Let us know how you feel. Anybody else got any comments on this topic? Well, the only thing I'm going to say is that whatever comments they make and so, and so on, we will answer those comments on our next podcast before we do our next podcast. Uh, you know, before we go on with our next podcast, we'll make sure we answer your comments as, at the best ability that we can. But I'm good. I think that I like I said for it, it's a hundred percent go for me. But I, you know, I got my fingers crossed that it works for them. I'm, I'm all for it. I, I, I wish them the greatest of success because not only they're dealing over in the UK with the regular COVID, but they've had the variant that they're dealing with too. So this will, this whole experiment will help to, to solidify getting back to normal uh, rather quickly if, if they can overcome the barriers uh, caused by regular COVID and the variant. Well, I'm cautious, but hey, like you guys, I agree with you that I wish them luck. And like Tom just said, they're battling basically two COVID viruses. And I think the whole world is going to be watching and see what happens over in the UK. So Good luck to the UK. I hope I hope they can pull it off, man. I, I would love to see that happen. I really would. Absolutely. The luck and maybe we'll 
at least talk about it if it's reported what happens after it's done and over with. And that will wrap it up for this episode of the Naked DJs podcast. Once again, drop your comments about either one of the articles. I want to let you guys know that the Naked DJs podcast is brought to you by the DJs of Blind Cafe Radio, where every day we expose ourselves to the best of music just so we can stick it out there for you to listen to. We'll see you next time on the Naked DJs podcast by Blind Cafe Radio, the station that rocks your world and raises cane all at the same time. Go and check out Blind Cafe Radio at blindcaferadio.com and also follow us on Twitter at Blind Cafe Radio and on Facebook at Blind Cafe Radio. Make sure you visit our webpage at blindcaferadio.com where you can visit our naked DJ. And this is the Blind Cafe Kangaroo signing off. <laughs>